Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're gonna be talking about stress in the game of Oxygen Not Included. We'll talk about the ways to manage stress and of course the pitfalls to avoid. To get it started, stress is going to be one of the many things you're going to have to manage in the game of Oxygen Not Included. Ideally, you're going to want to be at 0%. And of course, the best way to counteract stress is finding out what's actually causing the stress. And you guys could actually do that by clicking on an individual duplicate, scrolling down to the bottom, and you're going to have a breakdown called Today's Stress. You're going to see the net effect. And if this is positive, that means your duplicates will be climbing up in the stress. If it's negative, that means you're lowering their stress. Of course, what you're probably going to want to use this for is see what kind of things they're going to run into, such as if they're running into a environment that's not good for them, if they're breathing fine, just to see if they have any of the negative factors such as sopping wet, low oxygen, popped eardrums. There is a plethora of things that could tick off your dupe. Now, of course, this is going to be what you want to look at if you guys do have a duplicate that has positive stress and if it's climbing, you want to find out what's actually causing the issue. Finding out what's causing the issue and then preventing it from happening is going to be one of the best ways to solve the problems. If you guys cannot prevent what's causing the stress from actually stressing out the duplicate, the way that I recommend counteracting stress is going to be room overlay. Now the room overlay, as you can see on the right side, is a list of rooms that you guys are going to be able to build if you guys meet the requirements. I specifically recommend some of the morale rooms, such as the Great Hall. By eating in the Great Hall, and you do have to eat every day, which means that you should actually beeline for a great hall gives you six morale same thing as having a nature reserve as if you guys make a nature reserve in a corridor where the duplicates have to go through or if you guys build what i like to call the nature reserve shower combo and i'll leave a link for that video down in the description down below but by building the rooms how big or small the morale is going to add up and by having them guarantee to use a lot of these rooms, such as the nature serve by putting a shower in it, they have to eat every day, they will sleep every day, they will use the bathroom every day. That morale will add up. Six plus two plus two, that's easy 10 morale. And especially in the early game, that's more than enough to counteract something like sopping wet. If you guys don't know how to manage stress, the rooms and creating the specific rooms for the morale bonus is going to be the easiest way to do that the next step i would recommend is looking at decor if you guys have a lot of negative decor and a lot of the times bases are going to look very red like this too the easiest thing for you to counteract the morale is actually to buffer the morale while the duplicates are either idle so building a rec room with a lot of decor items in it or adding a lot of decor items to their bedroom one of the things about how decor actually calculates is dependent on how often the duplicates are in an environment. And because the duplicates are constantly moving, one of the things you guys can do is make their workplaces add a little bit of decor with statues or you have set times for eating or sleeping. You guys could just add decor in those areas as they will have to sit down and be in that area for a dedicated amount of time, which means that if you overload them with decor there, they'll have a buffer for the negative decor in the rest of the environment. Another thing to do is if you guys didn't know the debris on the ground, the sweepable items actually have a minus decor penalty. That means that sweeping all the items and tidying them up will actually help with the decor as well. Although that is a tedious task and will be very time consuming. If you get started on that, it'd be uh, helpful. Another thing you guys could do to manage the morale is going to be skill points. One of the big things about skills is that a lot of people tend to want to always spend their skill points as soon as possible. I actually recommend to float the skill points as the plus attributes on a lot of the skills is not worth it. And unless you need a specific skill to do a specific task, I don't recommend just aimlessly grabbing skills because you have floating skill points. Because the skills actually increase the amount of morale required, this means that it's going to be a lot harder to manage, especially if you do rocketry and you're going to lose all the room bonuses and food bonuses back at the original asteroid. And that makes it a lot harder to manage. 
So you can also skill scrub it to reset the duplicates. They will get their skill points back for you to redistribute, but that is going to come at a cost of power and building the skill scrubber building. So I recommend not using the skills until you really need the duplicate to do the specific task. Another thing to manage is going to be the food the duplicates eat. On the consumables tab, you can actually prevent the dupes from eating certain foods, especially if they're lower in morale and you want them to eat the nicer, higher tier food. In my case, it's going to be barbecue. So not allowing them to eat the worse off food is going to help them out. And of course, the pitfall to avoid. One of the things that a lot of times the duplicates, because they get stressed out, you're going to default to getting the massage table. Rapidly reduces stress at the cost of power. I actually recommend never to get this building as this only prolongs the inevitable. The massage table is a pitfall trap that a lot of new players run into because it actively reduces stress, whereas it doesn't help because the duplicate will just go back to work the next day, go through the same things that's causing them to be stressed out, and then become stressed again. You basically just create a vicious cycle where your duplicates spike up in stress, it lowers down, and you hope to be net negative. If not, you're just delaying the stress reaction. Now, a lot of the time, it's not worth the amount of power consumption. You're usually not going to have a lot of power anyways to spare. And if you do use the massage table, you actually have to have power, right? Which means that if you don't have a generator of any kind, you're using your hamster wheels. That means that you're using another duplicate's job to de-stress another duplicate. That's two duplicates that are not going to be working at that point. And I would recommend never to build this because it doesn't really help you. Whereas building the room overlays, having the morale benefit just by walking inside the rooms and it stays on the dupe for the cycle helps out a lot more. Same thing with the food, the morale stays with them. The stress from the massage table, the reduction doesn't help you the moment you get off. So the moment you're off of the massage table, you're going to be generating stress back again. The easier way is going to be with the other ways I just mentioned. But guys, that has been stress in a nutshell for the oxygen not included basics, the things that affect it, the things to avoid, and of course, how to manage. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. And of course, we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys.